Welcome to Scrapple TV. Yo, yeah, what's up? What, yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 what's up with this internet crap? Hey, I'm at Poe the Panic Hour here with Riley Martin, author, abductee, lover, right? Yeah, uh, lover, whiskey maker. Uh, a weed grower, bare knuckle fighter, and of course, lover of beautiful women, some of which were not my own, who had husbands that weighed 300 pounds. <laughs> that sounds like an experience uh, far scarier than an abduction, Riley. Riley, why don't you tell us about your first abduction experience? It was in 1953, yeah? 1953, at the age of seven, in northeastern Arkansas, near the banks of the St. Francis River. I had saw lights above the river three nights in a row. On the third night, they were close enough to illuminate my room. And I heard a voice saying, Friend Martin, come out. We have need to speak with you. And so he said it so forcefully and so deeply until I didn't question him. I, uh, I got up, put on my coveralls and my jacket, my jean, padded jean jacket, and I went outdoors, and my dog, Brown Boy, was standing there waiting on me, and he accompanied me down to the river. Um, when I came out of the cane break, static electricity uh, was in my hair and on my clothing, and uh, the ship was in the center of the circle. It was your classic saucer-shaped ship, and uh, about 30 feet across the rim. and. Uh, in the dome above the dome, it cleared. And I saw two beings standing there looking down at me. First thing that crossed my mind was, damn, I better, I better get the hell out of here, right. like that. And as soon as I said that, I was hit with a blue white light and I could not move. But I looked back over my shoulder. Now my dog, Brown Boy, I've seen him fight wolves, brown bears, uh, cats, Whatever. He wasn't afraid of anything. But I looked back and I saw his ears flapping. <laughs> as he went back up the hill, the bastard left me. Yeah. And, <laughs> and anyway, presently, a big white light beamed out of the bottom of the ship. It stood, it was standing about, oh, six meters above the ground, I guess, or something like that. And, uh, out of that light walked two beings. They are called B. avians. Now the average B. avian male is about four feet in height. Uh, the head is larger in proportion with the body. Okay. The, long, the arms are somewhat elongated. Uh, the fingertips stretching almost down to the knees. B. avians have four fingers and B. avians range in skin color from olive black to chalk white. That is, the browns, the blacks, the browns, the reds, the yellows, the, the white, and all of that. I learned that they are from a planet called BRV. BRV is located in what we call the Taurus constellation. That is about 450 light years from Earth. Wow. And, uh, but they can traverse that distance one way in about four and a half years as we measure time. Okay. That means that they have exceeded the speed of light 100 fold. They can run, run 100 times the speed of light. I am told that there are others in the galaxy, uh, a handful of others that they know of that has greater technology. The, the male, his name is Okwa, Tangen One. I call him Tan. The female is called Oni Sia One. I call her Nella, and uh, she's very gentle. You know, they're touchy feely type beings. And uh, do you ever get touchy feely? Oh uh, yes. Well, there was a an occasion. Do you think that it's possible that reptilians are controlling our politicians, or possibly you know body snatching people and, and running our government? I mean, is that too far fetched? Well. I would, uh, I would not want to insult a friendly reptilian by blaming these sorry bastards on him. 
You know what I'm saying? Is Obama a reptilian? Uh, no. I have to uh, more or less concur to his side simply because he is fighting against insurmountable odds. Politicians on Capitol Hill, for the most part, have been bought and owned whole soul and body by various echelons of people. Everybody from the Coke Brothers to Wall Street to pharmacy. Fucking Rothschilds. Yeah, yeah, and all of those. Yeah. They run these boys. And uh, were it not for Obama, uh, our asses would be, surely would be grass. And so, I won't talk against him. Let's talk about these symbols now. When you were abducted, these 144,000 symbols were downloaded into your yeah. brain, and you, about, you draw these. It took about 11 seconds. I draw the symbols that I've done thousands. No two are ever alike, the same. And uh, it is, as you can see, they're very intricate. It takes a prodigious amount of work. But I can do them sober or inebriated. And I do not seem to make mistakes on the symbols. Oh, I make mistakes in life, but uh, I do not make mistakes on the symbols. Now, if people think that there are certain criteria in order to be chosen, to be lifted up, they are not looking for highly spiritual people or uh, saints or anything of that nature. Oh, good if you are. But all I'm saying is that if you are righter instead of wronger, if you would rather love instead of hate, do a, a decent deal instead of a you know shady deal, then you're in. As far as they are concerned, they do not bar anyone regardless of race, creed, color, religion. I mean, let's be honest, they picked you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, they picked me. <laughs> and uh, and uh, actually, I don't think I would have at the time. However, I think that I have grown to be so lovable that it could make you puke. Yeah, that, that, that's negotiable there, Riley. <laughs> you had said that aliens smoke weed. You said that I was listening to an interview yeah. with you and you said they had fucking trees yeah. as big as redwoods that were yeah. cannabis plants. Yeah. I need yeah. to go here with you next time. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But now, only the ancient can actually smoke the leaves. However, Ever so often, they will open the gates and you stand downwind of it and uh, and smell the essence off of it. Yeah. And some can even levitate, uh, uh, children especially, once they get, you know, get a snarl of that. You feel like they're trying to hold us back from, uh, you know, achieving that kind of consciousness that you've uh, achieved through your certainly, travels? Certainly, the rulers and the leaders have always dictated uh, the element of psychology among the people if the people would accept it. Well, they can't tell me it's swamp gas no more. Every damn body got a camera now right. and things of that nature. So, so, but within us, like my father said, son, if a bird know how to fly south in the winter, you damn sure know how to do right. Yeah. And so, we are not so, so dense and stupid as to where we don't try to think for ourselves. Think for yourself, and you'll 99% uh, of the time, you'll, you'll, go, you'll choose the right way. And don't let, let anyone else dissuade you or influence you in any type of a manner. What do you say to the people that think that you're full of shit, to be honest? I say, okay, now I'm a country boy with an eighth grade education. Whether you be layman or scientist, take this book, The Coming of Tan. Get it at RileyMartin.com. Take this book and read it and use your own intellect. And uh, then come back and tell me it's a piece of shit. RileyMartin.com. Now, I do have two white girls going to come in here. They're going to accompany you the rest of the, of the day. Is that okay? Uh, definitely. They're 20 years old. Oh, 20? oh, that's uh, right. I mean, you know, that that's quite wonderful. I don't have any, any none for Iran. Uh, oh, Iran. Well, he he gets his own. Okay. All right. Well, Riley, thank you so much for taking the time to sit with us. I appreciate everything. Uh, check everything out at RileyMartin.com. Check us out at the Panic Hour and Scrapple.tv. Thanks so much. Yes.